Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. It never goes unnoticed. Thank you for 18,000 plus subscribers. You guys are the best. And thank you to everyone that's always giving us stuff to react to. You guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. If you want to have a conversation with us, feel free to follow us on Instagram, Fanny and Jesse, Facebook, Fanny and Jesse, and just enjoy the content that we put out on all our platforms. So today I'm going to be reacting to this. I've tried to pronounce the name many times, but I don't think I'm getting it right. So today's video is this. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. <laughs> The first Imam is Imam Ali alayhi salam. His father's name is Abu Talib and his mother's name is Fatima bint Asad, peace be upon them all. His mother began feeling pain like a mother does when her child is about to be born. She prayed to Allah to make it easy for her and the walls of the Kaaba opened. She went in and the walls closed. Imam Ali alayhi salam was born inside the Kaaba. His childhood was spent in the company of the Prophet peace be upon him and the holy Imam was similar in his character, knowledge, patience, bravery, kindness and eloquence. The holy prophet said, this is my brother and successor amongst you, therefore listen to him and obey him. He also said, I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. So he who aspires to attain the city must come through the gate. Obedience to Imam Ali salam is obedience to the holy prophet. There are too many traditions and verses to list here regarding the holy Imam. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Ali is the most learned of my community and the most capable of giving legal decisions after me. The holy Imam proved himself in all branches of knowledge throughout his life. After the death of the Prophet peace be upon him, even the Khalifs had to come to the holy Imam for the solution of their difficult problems. The holy Imam was always at the forefront of the battles of Islam and personally brought about the victory for the Muslims in many of them. He was both a great soldier and a great general and was the victor of Badr, Uhud, Khandaq, Khaybar and Hunayn. The Holy Imam had a total command over the Arabic language. He compiled the Holy Quran and also regulated the syntax and grammar of the Arabic language. Some of his lectures and words are contained in the book Nahjul Balagha which contains the best examples of Arabic eloquence. The food Imam Ali salam and the clothes he wore were such as even the poorest could afford. It was not because he was poor, but it was his desire to spend all that he could on the poor. Imam Ali salam was so humble that he used to sweep the floor of his house, chop wood for fuel, carry water on his shoulders, wash his own clothes, and mend his own shoes. When the Imam offered his prayers, he was so frequently observed to be in a strange physical condition. His humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was one of the reasons why he was regarded as a saint of saints. The Prophet peace be upon him had received many offers for Sayyidah Fatima's hand from very rich families and very powerful chiefs from Arabia. But he declined them all as the Prophet peace be upon him was waiting on orders from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From these orders Imam Ali alayhi salam married Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam. When the Prophet was commanded by Allah to preach to his relatives, he called them together for a meal and after which he introduced them to Islam and asked who would help him in his mission. None came forward except the holy Imam, although at the time he was only a young boy. At that time the Prophet peace be upon him told him, O oh Ali, you are my brother, my trustee, my helper, my inheritor and my successor after me. At a time when his own family was not prepared to believe in him, the Prophet peace be upon him received the guarantee of lifetime support from the Holy Imam alayhi salam. After the Prophet had ordered the Muslims to leave Mecca for Medina for their safety, 
the Prophet peace be upon him received the command to migrate himself. As per the command of Allah, he asked the holy Imam to sleep in his bed while he left the house secretly. Although the holy Imam was aware that he might be killed in the place of the Prophet, he did not hesitate to carry out the order. The plot by the Quraysh to collectively kill the Prophet were astonished to find Imam Ali salam sleeping in the Prophet's bed. In recognition of the sacrifice of the Holy Imam salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the following verse. And among men there is one who sells his soul seeking the pleasure of Allah and truly Allah is affectionate to his such servants. During the battle of Khaybar, the Muslims were unable to overcome one of the Jewish forts. Despite numerous attempts under different commanders, the holy Imam was present but could not take part due to a severe eye infection. Finally, the Prophet peace be upon him declared, Tomorrow, I will give the standard to one whom Allah and his apostle love. He does not flee from the battle and will not come back until Allah has brought about victory at his hands. The Muslims waited anxiously for the next day, each wanting to be the one chosen. However, the Prophet peace be upon him called Imam Ali salam and restored the health of his eyes. The holy Imam then went into battle with such bravery that none could withstand him. He did not return until he had captured every fort and brought about victory for the Muslims. After his final Hajj, the Prophet peace be upon him received the command from Allah to inform the people of the succession of the holy Imam. At a place called Ghadir Khum, the Prophet gave a speech in which he summarized his entire mission. At the end of it he said, O people, for whomever I am the master, this Ali is also his master. There is no doubt that everyone present understood the message, although many did not follow it in their greed for power and their jealousy of the holy Imam salam. After Imam Ali salam became the Khalif of the Muslims, he had to fight many battles including the battle of Jamal and Sifin. The last of these was the battle of Nahrawan against the Khawarij, the extremists. These were the people who had deserted the holy Imam salam. On the 19th of Ramadan, the holy Imam salam went to the mosque to pray as usual. The Imam started offering the prayer. When the holy Imam salam was in the state of prostration, Ibn Murjan dealt a heavy stroke with his sword on the holy Imam's head. On the 21st of Ramadan, the holy Imam salam departed this world. Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein salam buried him in the night and hid his grave. This was because if the Bani Umayyah and the Khawarij extremists knew about his burial place, they would exhume his body and treat it with disrespect. Only his children and a few companions knew his burial place. It wasn't until when Imam al-Sadiq revealed that the location of his grave was in Najaf. very interesting videos at least even though muhammad had passed they still had the people still had someone to look up to he he was more like muhammad not similar but of course they did different things but what i mean by similar is he was a people's person when there was war he was out there fighting with the people he dressed like a humble person i guess the leadership pro never got to his head but then although i'm a little bit confused when it said in the video that he is the one that um, compiled the Quran. Does it mean he's the one that wrote the Quran? I'm confused. I'm just a little bit confused. What does that actually mean in this situation? Otherwise, I love this video. I love that the leaders out there that are shown that are shown to be human and have that treat the people well or people similar to them or other groups very well otherwise let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and if you've got comments feel free to say anything that you took from this video down in the comment section below you want us to react to something drop a link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to it 
yeah and i'll see you next time